Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. I need to make sure. Okay, yeah, we're good. What's going on, guys and gals? My name is Necro Fluttershy, and man, I'm here with a motherfucking asshole, Sonic Doom 999. This is the second video in a row he's actually been in. <laughs> so, today, I actually want to give you a little backstory as to why I'm making this video in particular. I was going to do a Sonic marathon on the GameCube, you know, play some Sonic games on the GameCube. But I realized that that wouldn't make for as much of an interesting video as this because a couple days ago I went to the library, did my usual shit. Someone walked in, I overheard them a little bit talking to one someone else, and they said that they think that that you know they need to ban video games like this, you know, Doom, Halo, that kind of shit that are violent. Well, I apologize if it's too loud, if you can't really uh, hear us. Yeah, and not to so mention, uh, yeah, and my and this TV isn't as loud as my other TV, so if you can't hear us again, that's why. Um, but you know, I overheard them. They were talking to some about wanting to ban video games, any video games that we that we had as physical copies. Uh, they would take away from us, and then, you know, basically flat out arrest us because we own violent video games. And this video oh, okay. is for these people. I mean, I've done it that like what? Yeah, I think. But yeah, this video is okay, just... This controller is messed up. Yeah, mine is kind of odd. Okay, let's see if you can watch it. Okay, I'm going to charge this controller and turn it back down. Yeah, I mean, I have my. Well, I, I had mine plugged in. Um, but if you can't hear DJ, he said something about his controller fucking up. So if he isn't as good as he normally is, because goddamn, he's a fucking beast at Doom. He is probably the top ranked Doom person. <laughs> but, um. One of them, yeah. Yeah, one of them. But the thing about it is. Is, um. You know, this video is for the people that think the way that the person that I was talking to thought. I don't know who the fuck they are, so I, mean, I, I would have put them on blast if I would have done their names, but I don't, so whatever. Um, but the thing about it is, is that, you know, I, I, I'm not doing this video as a gamer, you know, to flat out say, you know, oh, you know, as a gamer, I, you know, I believe this and that. No, I'm saying this as a normal person, well, as normal as I could possibly be. Um, you know, I'm saying this as a person that plays a lot of video games, or, you know, as a normal person that does that. I don't think that's right. You know, we shouldn't ban video games at all, just because one or two people get pissed off that we exist. But yeah, and another thing is this video is for those people. And guess what, bitches? We're fucking playing Doom. We're playing, we're playing, we're, we're fucking playing an M-rated title. Okay, you know, we're playing. Yeah, the graphics may not look that good as opposed yeah, yeah. to what we have now, but still, this is an m game, blood and gore, guns, oh, blazes. So this was before our time. Yeah, um, I was born in 2000, he was born in 1999, so, you know, yeah. we, uh, we, we didn't exactly grow up on this particular time. I mean, he might have, but I didn't because of that. Yeah, well, I kind of grew up with it. I just haven't played it. They started seeing the gameplay stuff then. I was ready to play the game game there. Because that's what they said. Yeah. Now it's like, ooh, I'm going to play some shit for that. Yeah. Yep. And so, throughout the years, you know, I... I okay, and, okay, so in, in my case, the person you have to blame for me playing all these bloody violent video games is actually my father, Brian which I use father in the most air quotes as humanly possible because he is a piece of dog shit and I will get into that in another video. Um, but the thing about and it is... And talk about it for a count of time from video, so if you ever want to do it, kind of pull... Oh, shit. Yeah. God damn it. Oh. And... But I, yeah. I almost died off at the beginning too because I just like getting all the ammo and I'm like, damn it. Yeah, hey. I yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um... 
So yes, number one, check out his overview. If you're like, my back like 10, 15 or something like that. Yeah. Uh, check out his uh, father. Yeah, oh, his shit. Too many, too many shotguns. God damn it. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, thank God I got that, uh, is that Soul Spear? Whichever, whichever the one gives you, uh, 200 health. Is that the Mega Spear? But anyways, so yeah, I made a video on that, but I guess I'll make another video in depth, I guess, on that. Um, uh, but anyways, you know, you have him to thank for my obsessive, violent video game playing. <laughs> Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I, I probably would have found uh, out. And does that mean we're going to, he's going to come down just because he's answered finally? Father is gone? No. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> you know, as a gamer, I have heard this over and over and over. Like, this is the most common thing people talk about when they are all against video games and against us gamers. They always think that, you know, we... You know, by playing violent video games, we are being corrupted, we will start uh, school shootings, we'll start fires, we'll do all this stupid shit that you hear about. So you probably wonder why we're playing a video game as well? Well, number one, because it's fun, and why not? Yeah, I felt like it. And also, the kids off our best friend, Karen. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, Karen, if you're out there, <laughs> fuck you. Uh, how you doing? Love ya. Love ya. And, uh, we hate you. Hope you burn in fucking eternal hell. And then have the Doom Slayer rip and tear your fucking guts out. Spill them all over the place. Yep. Yep. And then have the Doom Slayer rip your rip and tear your guts for all eternity. Yeah, it's not going to be Satan who is doing that. It'll be Doom Slayer for being a movie that's happened. Yep. Not even what. He is raised in the dark. Yep. He may look like a simple human. But he is way more than that. He is, uh, you're like, I don't know, he's just a regular, like, over, you know, overpowered, just regular human. Oh, you don't know anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He basically got blessed by, um, some kind of hooded figure, and basically gave him, uh, God's, like, powers, and like, so he, right now, a God, so a mortal, like, right now, misconception us gamers get and hear is the fact that when we play violent video it's games such as this we will cause shootings we will cause death a plenty we will be the worst possible humans and even non-humans but that's the problem is I have played violent video games mostly my whole life and Thank nothing you. has happened I have not had the urge to kill people at all. I don't know about you, but uh, I, for one, am innocent. <laughs> I'm not one of those psychos that you hear about. And also, to kind of go with that, I mean, video games are not to blame for that. Yes, they may be like 1 or 2% the reason why, but that's so minor. It's all about the mental health. It's all about the bad parenting that these exactly. kids have to go through. It's all about the bullying that they have to to go, go through and school. And also, yeah, how, how parents raise their kids, everything. That yeah. all plays into, uh, like, how, how your kid is and everything. And also, if you're, like, we're, we're not saying it's entirely impossible that that something can be combined by video games. Yes, they can, but only if they have already a mental mind. Yeah. So, if they have a mentally unstable mind and they're playing a video game, obviously they're going to think, oh yeah, it looks cool, it looks even better, yeah. it looks even better. But you really do games for that. Well, it's fun to do games for that because you're not supposed to be doing that stuff in real life. Yeah. This is virtual, this is just virtual fun, this ain't fighting anyone. Yeah. 
but there's people out there who, and, and this is pretty much what ruins, you know, for gamers, which is the reason why people are against gaming in the first place, is because they merely think that it's going to turn around to be a game, and because some people are affected by it, that every gamer is then going to become violent. Yeah. And that's not the case. I mean, I've been, again, like I've been saying before, I play violent video games all the time. I and played them when I was younger, and, and I don't you know have the urge to do anything. Yeah, I'm playing that. Well, that's just going to be part of Calvin Curry. Yeah. I mean, I've been playing video games in general since I was two. You know, I started yeah. playing. Actually, I, I kind of started playing it with Max Payne and Devil May Cry back in that that time we had the PS2. So I didn't really start out with the GameCube, but for the most part, yeah, I grew up with the GameCube. I started when I was like three, and like I watched my dad play games, and then I finally played them when I was six, and even younger. Uh, yeah. But. About three years, okay. Yeah. I mean, but yeah, I play on the PS2 a lot. I, mean, I play again. Yeah, how long you play your game or your game? Because I was yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, the thing about it is, is the fact that I grew up playing these violent video games that it actually made me a better person. Come to think of it. Yeah, I mean. Do you think YouTubers that I haven't watched in a while, like, do you think you may say, you can look at his video on violence and video games, and he explained that he had a good job at the time. And people were horrible there, and like basically he was like, oh my anger, and so he played Last Final 3. Yeah. Damn, and it calmed him down. And yeah. Off, it I mean, down. even and some of the, <laughs> even some of the police officers, they yeah, play yeah. Grand Theft Auto yeah. after okay, a long time. day of hard work. I was just uh, really, I was just busy killing the things not the rest of them. Yeah. And we're going to the secret level, people. <laughs> yeah, secret level forever. But also, um, you know, video games, they, they're, they have been proven to be a lot more good than a lot more people have thought. Video games, they, people have always told me, you need to, if you ever go to a doctor and undergo surgery or something, get one that has played a lot of video games, because it's a hand-eye coordination kind of thing. Exactly. Yeah, and, and I'm like, yeah, definitely. When it comes to offering friends or anything yeah. like that, we gotta just, like, we kind of wondering why. Well, it's because there's hand inclination, and hand inclination yep. means you lost a hand movement. So if you have that kind of skill, or you're not, uh, you're able to kind of much like, might do that because it requires movement and control, and how. Kind of and when you're doing the same, it'll be like a joystick on, on like, the price of the tender for you Yeah. <laughs> But, but also another thing uh, about it is, you know, video game. Think about all the puzzle games, you know, Tetris, Dr. Mario, that actually make you think. It's like, oh, okay. So video games are also good for your brain as well. Um, uh, hey, uh, William. Yeah. Pause on the video here, but. Why is that? Uh, I have to go pick up some stuff in the yard at my mom and basically, uh, uh, basically cut up, so I'll have to uh, go and pick up the yeah. Well, I guess I'll keep my audience busy. I don't really feel like editing this video. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll be back, guys, and hopefully it doesn't get disconnect, and if it does, then we'll just, like, and it stops again. Yeah, we'll do it again have if it disconnects, so. Yeah. yeah. I'll be back. <laughs> yep. But anyways, guys and gals, so, yeah, I mean, video games have been proven to be a lot more healthier and a lot more better than a lot more people have thought. You know, like I was saying before with the whole, um, you know, hand-eye coordination thing and the whole overall, just video games have been proven to be a fuck-ton better. Hand-eye coordination, the fact that uh, these... Um, video games that are like Tetris, you know, puzzle games make you think, strategy games like Fire Emblem also make you think, so you're using your brain. And video games also are good for teamwork. 
So you see how me and DJ are, are murdering a whole bunch of the undead. Well, not really undead. They're not really zombies. I mean, yeah, they, some of them are zombies, the zombie soldiers, but you get what I'm saying. You see how we're murdering these demons? Well, we're doing it together. You know, he takes care of some, I take care of some. You know, and we get the job done by murdering all of them. And, yeah. So, there's that. And also, video games are good... Again, for working as a team, not just as a, a co-op two-player mode, but also at an esports event, uh, and you could actually get paid for playing video games. And to all the people that say you can't make a living by playing video games, I'm flipping you off because it's true. You can actually make a living playing video games. And all the people that are basically flat out fucking, you know, they're, they're saying that video games are no good, that they cause this, they cause that. Where is your fucking proof? Where is the evidence, the cold hard facts that support this? There hardly isn't. There hardly is any. You know, and there's not enough to flat out determine that video games cause these things and are the single handed reason. And so. You know, it's time we stop blaming video games for everything. It's time we stop, you know, accusing video games of being this evil thing when it's not. It's just the simple, you know, entertainment. It's means for entertainment. And some people play video games to not only escape reality, but also by playing video games, you don't really have that urge to do these things that people are complaining about. Me playing Grand Theft Auto or Call of Duty, you know, it, after a long day of school, back when I was still going to school, you know, high school, you know, it helped me out. It kind of took away some of the pain I was experiencing on that day and other things, and it pretty much helped me in a way. Video games are not bad. And video games are pretty much the best things you can ever uh, experience. All it takes is... Oh, here's the secret... Here's the secret area, by the way. Um, but the thing is... Again, we need to stop blaming video games for everything. It's not the video game's fault people are fucked up. You know, they were born that way. Or, and also... You know, if they weren't, their parents and their surroundings are the reason. Between people getting bullied at school all the time, between people getting harassed and attacked by their parents 24-7, and overall feeling like they have no other option but to take, a, take arms and take revenge upon the world, you know, it's not really the video game's fault. It may be, again, 1 or 2 percent the reason. But like I said before, it's so microscopic, it doesn't matter. The video games are not to blame. And I think the only real reason why people do it, actually the reason I know people do it, is because it's a scapegoat. They don't want to accept the hard, cold hard facts that it's the parents' fault, it's the, the, the teacher's fault, it's the, the students' fault, you know, it's the mental health. They don't want to accept that. They want to accept the fact that video games are this evil thing that really isn't so evil. And, you know what, to, to anybody that disagrees with me, fuck you, okay? Fuck you and fuck the cow you gave birth to. Because the thing about it is, you know, I, I'm just so fucking tired of people blaming video games for shit that isn't there. I'm tired of PETA blaming video games for cruelty. That's not a thing. You know, some people think Pokemon provo uh, promotes animal cruelty and violence towards animals and shit like that. No. No. Have you seen the anime? No. Have you played the games? No. It's about friendship. It's about, you know, that kind of thing. It's about, you know, working together as a team to accomplish something. It's not... Yes, there is violence, but it's cartoon violence. You don't see Pikachu ripping out the fucking spine of a Charizard. You don't see that shit happening. 
and Mario, it's just a power-up. It's just a costume. It doesn't mean that Mario is actively killing tanukis or squirrels or raccoons or anything. You know, he's just wearing a costume. It doesn't have to be real raccoons. It doesn't have to be Tom Nook's skin, even though I would definitely love that if that was the case. Because Tom Nook is a fucking asshole. <laughs> but you get the idea. Is, you know, people are making issues out of things that aren't there. And by, and, you know, I've been playing these video games for a while. And I've been making videos of me playing Doom and Call of Duty. Not just because I love doing it, because I love making content for you guys and gals. But it's also to prove a point. It's also to show that, you know, all your so-called evidence, all your accusations about us gamers are wrong. You know, not every gamer wants to kill people in reality just because they do it in a video game. And if you do, you're fucked up. And you need fucking mental help. ASAP. As soon as fucking possible. Or ASAP. As a fuck, as soon as fucking possible, because you know, it's only a matter of time before you do something stupid, and us gamers, we get the fucking, we, we get the shitload, you know, dumped all over us, and I'm tired of it. I am tired of people always blaming video games for their problems. And I just realized I killed myself, but who cares? Also, yeah, it's another thing. Do you really expect me to go and jump in an actual pit of lava or acid in reality just because I do it in a video game? No. And to anybody that thinks I would do that, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I'm, it's just a matter of fact that video games don't cause this. And if they do, it's, again, a one or two percent reason. It's not the majority. It's not the real reason. It's not the real meat and potatoes of the fucking situation. And so, it's time people just stop. Stop with the blaming. Start taking responsibility for your actions. Start taking responsibility for the fact that you're a bad parent. You don't know how to raise your kid properly, and so they cause a school shooting. They cause pain on others because you didn't teach them. You didn't stop them. You might be thinking, oh, well, I didn't know they'd do that. Yeah, well, if you suspect something, take the guns away from them and maybe have a chat with them. You know, tell them, okay, Johnny, okay, Monica, and yes, I am referring to Monica as in the Literature Club president. Um, but yeah, oh hey little Timmy, hey little Monica, um, you know that video game that you've been playing, uh, you know, Doom, or Call of Duty, you know, you know that game you've been playing, right? Well, I'm here to tell you that you shouldn't be doing those kind of things in reality. It's okay if you do it in the video game because they're NPCs, they're not real people. They're not actual living, breathing corpses. If they are, there's a problem. <laughs> uh, but, you know, just because you do it in a video game doesn't mean you should do it in reality. And, you know, give them a talk. Tell Not the talk about sex. I mean, if you want to do it while you're at it, then do it. Who gives a shit? Uh, but if you want to tell them, you know, that, you know, this is just a video game, it's not reality, don't do this in reality, you should. And that's what I think a lot of people are failing to do. And thus, that means the video games are the fucking scapegoat for about the five trillionth time. Because parents don't take responsibility for the fact that they didn't teach their kids that it's wrong to do these things in reality. But it's okay in a video game world because they're not real people. And, you know, and that, that, that's part of the thing with me. When I was young, oh god, back in my day, yeah, I know, but, uh, you know, I, when I was five and a half, six, I went to kindergarten, and I started acting out 
seen some video games I played, you know, Buffy, Mortal Kombat, and those games actually got taken away from me for a while. And that told me, you know, they're right. I shouldn't be doing this kind of shit in reality. And look how I fucking turned out. I turned out to be insane. And <laughs> I'm just fucking around, but in all seriousness, you know, if you have to take your games away, do it. You know, but just just have a talk with them. I'm back. Time to get back at this. It's now two fucking. Oh shit! Oh goddamn! Oh damn! 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 Oh I was telling my audience pretty much, you know, everything. I was like, this is what you should and shouldn't do. You know, just because you see it in a video game doesn't mean that you should do it in reality. And also... It's like, don't get me wrong, I wish there were certain things about reality. Like, if I can just... Oh, reality is pretty much possible. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would love to, um, I would love to play a Pokemon reality. I'd love to go grab some balls. No, not like that. No, 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 not like that. Audience, audience, don't you dare. No, oh, too fucking late. They're already commenting. <laughs> yeah, and they, and they can basically make some kind of like, uh, some video, video on it with the memes. Yeah. <laughs> I like balls, and then Duke Nukem pops up out of nowhere. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you know. But yeah, I would love to, you know, have Pokemon become real. Go and grab some, you know, Pokeballs, and then go catch some Pokemon. You know, I'd love to have an Eevee of my own. And a Pikachu, even. You know, that'd be amazing. But some games technically are reality. You know, Call of Duty, that technically is real. There have been wars that have started. You know, the World War II shooters, like Medal of Honor. And, you know, that's another thing. You know, it, like, like I said before, Call of Duty is real because there have been real wars based on that. And other things... And also, if you guys are male, if you guys are male, we might understand too. Yeah. Okay. Huh. But yeah, I mean, you know. Which is probably one of the most unexpected things I've like, ever seen. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, it kind of taken away from the whole Call of Duty thing, but, you know, kind of a little tiny off topic thing. So, me and him met. I was bored as fuck. I was wanting to play some, you know, some video games with someone. I don't know who. I don't care who. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'll fucking play some Doom. See if anyone's on. But this game is pretty much dead. I don't see anybody on yeah, here. Yeah, I was looking for players too. At the same time. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he was looking for someone. And I was like the only one on there. Like pretty much. Yeah. If you were to play on there and online, it would be me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and you know, the thing is. You know, I was like, oh, who the fuck is this asshole? Sonic Doom 999? Oh. Who is this guy? Yeah, I mean, they, they don't fucking call this guy Sonic Doom 999 for nothing. I mean, he's, he's a pro at Doom, and he's a fucking Sonic fanatic. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he knows a lot about the Sonic lore, he knows a lot about video games without the hedgehog, you know, he, he, he does things. <laughs> but, but yeah, I mean, the thing is, uh, you know, going back to the whole, you know, like, Sonic Doom thingy, I was like, okay, sure, so, well, we'll play. And then I sent him to a hell level, like, oh, shit. Yeah, and then he fucking murdered me 24-7. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you guys, yeah, yeah, if you guys and gals think you can take him, which my recommendation is don't, because you will probably die. 
Uh, but if you think you can take him on, go, you know, go and do that. You know, go and play some Doom classes and play with him. Uh, I want to survive this. I can't. I'm not really on the internet. I don't want to check it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.